save a life by giving blood. And finally, history projects are turned in. Let's see the results. All of this and more Dance on Dan TV. Song. This episode, we're going to talk about Christmas grams, sports, stopping drug abuse, and how you can help save a life by giving blood. But first, remember all those National History Day projects? See how they came out here on campus in the library. Um, History Day has been here for, this is our sixth year here, and every year it has grown. This year's History Day has far surpassed my expectations. Um, I think I could have done a little better because uh, we did have like three months to do this, but you know, um, I'm still really proud of it. No. I think it turned out all right. It could have turned out a lot better for my group and I didn't procrastinate as much as we did. Um, as far as what came in, we did get some really, really good projects. There are some things that as a teacher makes you think, all right, you know, this is pretty cool. It's pretty neat to see that students are are meeting our expectations. Hey, Lindsay and I have a project in there. You guys should go check it out. I wonder if anyone did a project on the Greek Olympics. You know, I heard that the ancient Greek abused substances to improve their bodies. In this day and age, we know that like steroids are bad for you. Your turn. I wish I was stronger. Come on, no more. Come on. Can't do it. Can't do it. Get it. Get it. I got it. Man, I can't do this, man. Omar. I wish I was stronger. Oh, don't. Omar, don't. Maybe I can take some drugs to make me strong. Omar, no! What are you doing, dude? You don't need steroids, dude. Yes, I do, man. No, you don't. All you have to do is work hard and just work out. Look what I look like when I work out. It's all natural. Here are some things that can happen if you do not take drugs. Bam! You could be happy and lift weights. <gasps> Drug free! If you want to be the best, you have to be healthy. Eat right, get your sleep, and stay active. That's the path to a good life. Speaking of health, I saw Matthew get into an ambulance earlier. I wonder if he's okay. What does this chart say? He needs a blood transfusion. I don't know how we're gonna save this kid's life. We ran out of blood this morning. Okay. Ramona High School's having a blood drive. Really? Remember, the blood drive is December 18th in the gym. You must be 16 years of age. You may not donate blood if you have received a tattoo in the last year. You must meet or exceed your required weight for your height. You must meet the requirements in order to donate blood. I hope I can donate blood. Just remember, if you have a game or practice that night, to talk to your coaches first. Now here's Trevor and Joss with Ramona Sports Center. Hey guys, it's Trevor and Josh with Ramona Sports Center. Winter sports has started and the Rams are off to another great season of competition. We've had two great weeks of preseason so far, with boys basketball having some tough competition. The Big Daddy coming. They didn't come out with many wins, but did gain a lot of experience. Boys soccer has come out and definitely showed their hard work. They are now 0-2-2 record with a tough loss to Arlington on Monday. Now off to Josh with girls. Girls basketball has started this preseason with a great opener, with a record of two wins and four losses. They had a tough game and pulled off in the second half of versus Arlington. Way to go, girls! Girls Water Polo has definitely had a hard start off this season, and they are working hard and definitely showing that. They have a tough competition coming up and a tough tournament this week. 
This was Ramona Sports Center. Now back to you guys in studio. Thanks, Trevor and Josh. Christmas is coming. Lindsay, I want to get you something, but I don't know what. Mmm, I want ten pairs of Uggs. Uh, how about a Christmas ground? I guess that'll do. Whatever. You still haven't told me what you want for Christmas. I don't know what I want for Christmas. Just think about it. Don't forget, Rams. Candy grams will be available soon, so be sure to get them for that special someone. That's probably what I'm going to get So I heard about the candy grams next week. When and where could I get them? Yeah, we're selling them next week in front of the library from the 17th to 20th. And how much are they? They are for one dollar and they will be receiving these. Okay, thank you. I hope she likes that candy gram. For my Christmas gram. You're welcome. Candy grams will be available next week in front of the library for one dollar. Thank you for watching another episode of Ram TV. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Ramona Rams TV. And don't forget, guys. Follow us. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Subscribe to us on YouTube too. So